What's up, everybody? Welcome back to Team Fish Knuckles YouTube channel. Today is Saturday Tournament. Now, if you don't know what Saturday Tournament is, it's where I do an introduction and then I play the three rounds of a tournament. You know, there's a round one, round two, and round three, and we see if we can become the winner or not of the Saturday Tournament, uh, you know. And this time around, we are playing the Lucario Crobat deck. Now, this deck has gotten a lot of hype even before breakthrough this deck was considered one of the best decks in the format i didn't really play it because i was like man whatever but now i think it's a really good deck it's always been a really good deck i just not i mean i like landers more of course just because you can snipe the bench but the reason why i like this deck now is because of judge and we'll go over that here in a second of why i like this deck a little bit more now since the release of judge now if you don't know our attackers are going to be a hall lucha or wall lucha like I call it when we play him at Dawn Fan. Has 70 HP, not that great. He's gonna get one shot at. But it has the attack, Shining Spirit. Damage from this Pokemon's attack isn't affected by weakness or resistance. And it has the attack, Flying Press. If your opponent's active Pokemon is a Pokemon EX, then this attack does nothing. So it only attack EX Pokemon, and it doesn't hit for weakness. But 60 damage is a lot uh, for a one energy attacker. And then you have Fighting Stadium, Muscle Band, Strong Energy. So you have the potential to do 6, 8, 10, 12, and if you notice, one of the main cards in every deck is Shaman, which has 110 HP, a fighting resistance, but with Flying Spirit, Flying Press, it's not really affected by that, so you can just one-shot Shaman with Hallujo, which is great, and you get two-shot a ma majority of all EXs in the game, and if you want to hit for weakness, we also play a Silent Lab to shut that down, so if you are playing against a Manetra deck, you could play a Silent Lab to shut that uh, flying or the the shining spirit off to take knockout. Of course, we play shaman for setup, but our main main attacker in this deck is going to be Lucario. And now Lucario has three attacks, which is pretty cool because you really don't see this in a lot of cards. And first attack is Missile Jab, thirty. This attack is infected by weakness. Second second attack is Corkscrew Smash, sixty. You may draw cards until you have six in your hand. And Summersault Kick is a hundred damage. Now, none of these attacks are like. Like, amazing. Like, you're not one-shotting a Pokemon ever, uh, you know, unless you have, like, two strong energies, so 120, 140. Two strong energies, a muscle band, and a fighting stadium is a knockout. If I did the math correctly, 100, 120, 140, 160, 180. Yeah, that's a knockout right there with Summerstalk, Summerstalk Kick. But that's three energies on Lucario. And the main attack we're going to use is Corkscrew Smash. And I'll tell you why in a second that's our main attack. Oh, okay, sorry about that. Um, so we see, you know, Lucario is our main attacker. Now, we also play a 4-3-3 Crobat deck. You know, uh, Zubat, you don't have to free retreat anyone. It got rotated out. Sorry, free retreat, Zubat. But we still have the Golbat with Sneaky Bite to put two damage counters on any of your opponent's Pokemon. And Crobat, which puts three damage counters on any of your Pokemon's opponent. We see these multiple times, you know, if you're, if you're new to the game. These cards have been around... All last year, and obviously made the finals of Worlds with Sidestone Crobat, but this is a totally different strategy. But it's cool because this way, you know, course you smash 60, you know, you could have a strong energy, you could have muscle band, you could have fighting stadium. But if you are whiffing those, you could like double Crobat, which makes it 100, or plus 40, and then course you smash 60, which is 100 damage, and the next turn, maybe drop a Crobat, and then course you smash, which is 90 which knocks out pretty much all the EXs in the game, except the Megas, of course, and Waylord EX. I know some people are going to be like, you don't knock out a Waylord, yeah, but I'm fine. Uh, but that's all our Pokemon in the deck. It's only one shame because you really don't need it that much, and you play Silent Lab, and that's going to be your main uh, kind of stadium you want to put down if it is possible. Now, we play two Love Ball. This can search out Golbat, Zubaz, and Hallucha. One Professor Later to search for two Fighting Energies, and three Super Scoop Ups. Now, this is so you can reuse... The Crobat line, you know, you can super scoop up, pick them back up, put in your hand, and then re-put down the Golbats and the Crobats. And you can pick up heavily damaged Lucarios. If Lucario is about to get knocked out, you can just super scoop up heads, pick it up, put it back in your hand, get all the items and all or all the tools and energy attached to Lucario back into your hand. Two Ultra Ball to search out Shamans and the Crobats, and uh, get Lucario if you need to. Pretty much all your Pokemon, but that's the main people you want to search for. Or Via Seeker. Uh, to reuse your portal cards, of course, one AZ, and this, of course, is going to use to pick up your Crobat line. You know, it says put one Pokemon, uh, put one of your Pokemon into your hand, but you have to discard all your po your all your opponent's stuff. So this way, you have to discard, you know, energies, their uh, this tools, 
And uh, if you AZ pick up a Crobat line, you usually don't have to pick a discard anything since it, you know, it doesn't have fighting energies or tools on it. It's kind of just sitting there on your bench doing the sneaky bite and uh, sneaky bike and surprise bite. Now, next up is Judge, and like I said, I like this deck a lot better because of the Judge. Each player, sh each player shuffle his or her hand into his or her deck and draw four cards. Now, this is kind of disruptive. It's not that crazy disruptive, but if you're constantly using Judge over and over again, put your opponent's hand down to four, and you take a knockout on their EX Pokemon, they might be in trouble. And since when you play Judge, you can also just use Corkscrew Smash to fill your hand back up, and that's kind of the combination I like a little bit in this deck because you can disrupt disrupt your Pokemon, your opponents, and then draw more cards of course through Smash, which I like a lot. Uh, three Karina, this is going to search for a fighting Pokemon and an item card. This is going to get you the Lucario, the Halucha, and then like a Love Ball or a Professor Letter, or, you know, any item card you need for the turn, uh, which is really great. One light standard to bring a Pokemon off the bench. I might want to bump this up to two, but one is fine right now. Uh, four Sycamore, discard your hand and draw seven cards. Two Fighting Stadium, your fighting Pokemon do 20 more damage to defending Pokemon EX. And then two Silent Labs. Now, like I said earlier, you want to kind of have Silent Lab down. And the reason why is because if you use Judge and then have a Silent Lab down, your opponent can't use, you know, Unknowns. They can't use Shamans. Which Shaman, like I said, is almost in every deck. So if you shut that down, you're in a great position. Because now, you know, if they don't have a supporter and a shaman in their hand they're kind of just staring at their hand like what can i do i don't have a supporter but i have the shaman i can't play because silent lap is in play and that's a really cool combo i really do like a lot in this game uh two focus ash and this is make it where if a pokemon if a fighting pokemon were to get one shot in and they're full hp instead of getting knocked out they're going down to 10 hp and hit the discard focus ash now we only play two and this is going to be mainly used on hot lucha so that way you can use flying press over and over again but also, you can attach it to Lucario if you're scared of somebody one-shotting you. You could put a Focus Sash on it. Most of the times, I'm just attaching them just to get them out of my hand. So that way you can play Shaman or Judge and not draw back into them. Because you also just super scoop up a Lucario, uh, whatever you need. And three Muscle Band just to do that 20 more damage. And this can be attached to anybody. The Crobat, the Golbats, the Lucarios, the Halucha, the Shaman if you... Want to Sky Return? I would not advise that at all, though. Uh, four Strong Energy, so your, your Fighting Pokemon do 20 more damage to the active Pokemon. You know, your Lucario and Haluchas are hitting for more damage. And six Fighting Energy, and that's the deck. Um, there's probably some cards you could cut and some cards you can add. But what cards do you think this deck could also use? I think it's a really, really good list. I've had a lot of fun playing this in tournaments and just overall just playing practice games with it. And I just like it a lot because of the Focus Sash because that does help a lot against the Vesta Queen matchup, which does seem like a, a bad matchup. But with the Focus Sash, you can kind of change that, and that's why I like it in the deck. But hopefully you enjoyed this video. Hopefully you enjoyed this Saturday tournament, and have a great weekend. And uh, in the next three videos, you see round one and two and three. Um, just They're all different videos, so take your time. Watch them whenever you want to. Have a great weekend. Alrighty, bye.